Hey, welcome back students. In this video lesson, I wanna go ahead and focus on how we calculate percent error. And so let's begin by sharing with you the actual formula for that. And so let's go ahead and write it down here for you. The percent error when you're calculating follows the following formula. And so what we've got here is percent error is going to be equal to the absolute value of the accepted value minus the experimental divided by the accepted value. I'm going to go ahead and multiply whatever we get there times 100. Now, one bit of note here, when, whenever we're talking about the accepted value, notice here it, it shows up in both the numerator and the denominator. The accepted value is going to be the correct value or the value that has been deemed to be the, the one that you're trying to achieve. The experimental value, however, is going to be the value that you obtain in lab. So this is going to be your observed value is another way of looking at it. And so this is the actual way that you calculate it. And let's kind of use this in an example here. What if you went and you had the following? So let me write out a little uh, example for us here. Let me type it out for us and then we'll show it to you. And then and you'll be able to see how we calculate this. Okay, so here's the problem. The problem reads, a student made a mistake when measuring the volume of a container. She found the volume to be 45 liters. However, the real value for the volume was 75 liters. What is the percent error? And so we've got to first, before we even start here, is try to find the parts in this. Which is the accepted value and which is the experimental value? And so if we do that, let's go ahead and underline the parts that, that kind of make sense with that. Notice the numbers. So you should always look at any numbers that are given to you in any problem set. And notice we've got a number right here with 45 liters, and we've got another number over here with 75 liters. And so let's go ahead and underline those, because those are gonna be very crucial for us. 45 in this case, 75 in the other. Now, if she found this to be, here's another keyword for you, found. Found, these are words that we use when we're actually conducting the experiment. So we find these results, we gather these results. And so in this particular case, the word found indicates to us that this number here, the, the 45, this is going to be a number that was obtained during the experiment. In other words, this is the experimental value. Okay? And then if we look at the 75 liters, notice the key words here, the real value. So this is going to wind up being the accepted. Okay? And so now that we know this, what we're able to do, though, is now we're able to go in and actually calculate the information. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's clear some space here so we can go ahead and work proper. All right, and let's go ahead and just re-identify the two numbers. And let's go ahead and put this in. Since we already identified that the 45 liters was the uh, experimental, we're gonna put this into the formula. So here the percent error, and I'm just gonna abbreviate this percent E, or rather I'll just go ahead and write it out, percent error is going to be equal to the absolute value for the accepted. In this case, the accepted value is going to be 75 liters minus the experimental, which in this case is 45 liters. And we're going to divide this by the accepted value. In this case, the real value is going to be 75 liters. We get whatever result we get here, and we're going to multiply that by 100. And that should give us the percent error. So if we go ahead and do this math here and simplify, let's do this in steps. So first, let's take the numerator part. So in other words, we're going to take this part up here at the very top, and we're going to find this out first. And so what we do here is we take the 75, and we're going to subtract 45 from that. That's going to give us a number of 30 liters. And we're going to divide this by 75 liters. Okay, this goes, again, multiplied by 100, and this should give us the percentage, okay? Now, what happens here is the following. We're going to wind up canceling liters because the units actually cancel each other out, in which case we're going to have to find out what 30 divided by 75 is. In this particular case, this whole thing winds up being 0 0.4. In fact, so what I'll do here is I'm just going to go ahead and replace this number with the actual number that we find so we can make some space for ourselves. And so that number there is going to be 
0 0.4. And this should be equal to the percent error, which I'm just going to write as percent E. So if we take 0 0.4, we multiply that by 100, the percent error here is going to be equal to 40%. And that is the percent error for this particular problem. Right? So what I want you to do is kind of look at the way we set it up. First, identify which is the accepted value, which is the, exp the experimental value, respectively. Plug them into the equation, and then go ahead and solve for it. Don't forget at the very end, we got to make sure we report the right number of significant figures. So the last thing to do is to double check the answer that we circled. Notice that we wrote 4-0. What we need to make sure that we write here is because we do have two significant figures in each of the two numbers provided for us. 45 has two significant figures. 75 has two significant figures. So the only thing that's missing here from our final answer is a decimal at the end of the zero. And so we'll put that in white there. So the answer is 40 point percent. All right. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead and subscribe and continue watching, continue learning, and we'll see you in the next video.